Local officials explain where you can and cannot ride an e-bike this fall. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, Dillon Amphitheater ain't going anywhere this winter. Yesterday, town council heard about an upcoming winter concert featuring country star Carly Pierce on November 17th. Front Range Radio Station KYGO partners with Dylan for that show. It is the first ever winter concert at Dylan's outdoor venue. Stay tuned in coming weeks for more details. Big things are coming to the outlets at Silverthorne. William Sonoma is opening an outlet store at the outlets at Silverthorne. That was Natalie Vesey, new general manager for the outlets. She says William Sonoma should be open by late October in time for holiday shopping. It opens in the Red Village between Columbia and Zoomies and becomes the only William Sonoma outlet in Colorado. Depending on who you ask, e-bikes are the future of mountain biking, but the future depends on where and how you can use electric motors. I've heard other people during this long public process liken it to the whole snowboarder versus skier debate. That was Michael Wurzel with the county. He led public outreach this summer for e-biking regulations and discovered the industry is robust with different models for different uses. Class 1 is pedal assist only with a max assisted speed of 20 miles per hour. Class 2 is pedal and throttle assist with a max assisted speed of 20 miles per hour. Class 1 and Class 2 e-bikes are allowed on any Forest Service road or trail open to motorized use, and the county considers only those engine models for the rec path where e-bikes are currently not allowed unless you are disabled. Summit County never banned e-bikes. Our original rules and regulations uh, included them as motor vehicles. In terms of conflicts, Wurzel says almost every everyone is concerned about who is riding an e-bike, not the machine itself. It wasn't really e-bikes that were usually an issue on a trail system. It was usually something like rider behavior. Right now, e-bikes are not allowed on any town, county, or forest service single track, and most likely never will be. Officials decide on rec path access by April 2019. Hi, I'm Gilda Radner, and uh, <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> That's a clip from Love, Gilda, the opening night film and one of more than 70 showing at this weekend's Breckenridge International Film Festival. The festival opens Thursday and continues through Sunday with movies, filmmaker Q&As, and more. See the schedule and buy tickets at breckfilmfest.org. Rocky shortstop Trevor Story missed last night's game against the Dodgers with an elbow injury from Monday night, but never fear, the AP reports there is no structural damage. Story should return to the lineup for a weekend series with the Diamondbacks. In sports, the Rockies and Dodgers wrap their three-game series today. First pitch is 8 p.m. on ESPN. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, Tigers Golf finished fifth overall at the 4A Regional Tournament yesterday, led by golfers Logan Pappas and Riley Sabula is shooting sub-80 rounds. All Summit High sports teams have today off. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.